St. Aldhelm, Bishop of Sherburne, 709, Melmesbury, Britannia. St. Aldhelm, who was a Saxon of royal blood, took the habit of a monk in the monastery at Melmesbury. He resorted again and again to Canterbury to sit at the feet of the Abbot Hadrian, and so advanced under his instruction, that not only himself became famous as a teacher, but was also the first Englishman who ventured on publishing books. According to the testimony of Beat, he was a man of white and varied learning, a brilliant speaker, and wonderfully well read both in ecclesiastical and worldly writers. He read often, and prayed constantly, so that, to use his own expression, while he read, he seemed to hear God speaking to him, and while he prayed, himself to speak to God there, present. He was indifferent to hunger, and careless about money, stopped inside his monastery, and proclaimed an unceasing war against idleness and desire. However, when a church synod had discussed the corrupt doctrines of the British Christians, and had come to the unanimous conclusion that it was better to lead the schismatics by reason than to drive them by force, Aldhelm took upon himself the task of confuting their errors. This he did by writing a book, which was the mean of leading back many of the wanderers into the bosom of the Universal Church. After the death of Hedda, Bishop of the West Saxons, Aldhelm was induced, against his own wishes, to accept the See of Sherburne. When he entered on this sphere of duty, he already felt that the end of his life was near, and, to make the best of what time remained, he preached day and night, visited about his diocese, and practiced fasting, and the like, as much as in the prime of his life. He died four years after becoming a bishop, in the year of our Lord's Incarnation 709, and was buried in the church of St. Michael the Archangel, at Melmesbury. Amen.